And keeping our environment clean at all times is the responsibility of all. And this is a message from speakers at this year's Walk for Nature campaign hosted by the Nigerian Conservation Foundation, NCF. The event, which was organized at Kusha Fair local government area in Lagos State, was attended by officials of the Lagos State government, as well as members of the public. Our correspondent, Paul George, was there. This year's Walk for Nature Sensitization, the 15th edition, tagged Solutions to Plastic Pollution, highlights the importance of preserving nature and improving the quality of life across the state. From Koshofe Local Government Secretariat down to Good Road, the volunteers walk bearing placards with different inscriptions sensitizing the public on the need to keep the environment clean. The Director General of the NCF, Joseph Onoja, who was represented by Ali Olaide, says waste not properly disposed of is causing pollution to the environment. The reason for this advocacy is to change people's initiative and idea about how they manage their waste. Uh, it is expected that every household should keep at least two separate waste systems, whereby other waste are kept in one and plastic waste are kept separate. Because plastic waste now uh, make money from those uh, used plastic uh, waste. So they can actually resell and make money and people will reuse it uh, for better purpose. Lagos State Commissioner for Environment and Water Resources, Honorable Wahab Tukumbo, represented by Dr. Asan Sanut, says all hands must be on deck to ensure a clean and healthy environment. In the same vein, Chairman Koshofe Local Government, Muyo Ogunlewe, expressed delight that the campaign was brought to his domain. He assured the organizers that he will always give his support to ensure a clean legal state. All and must be on deck to ensure that we manage the menace of plastic pollution in the environment. And he has preached the economic aspect of it. We have these things could be converted to money rather than just throwing it away. He mentioned the effort of the ministry where it has been piloted with a bank. You take your plastic waste to the bank, you collect money or you collect in cash or in kind. And this, we believe, we remove whatever is going to the environment and then for you to propose and reuse. I'm delighted. Uh, these are things uh, that the state government and the local government should be doing every every month. Uh, about 2.5 million tons of waste um, is generated from plastic um, every year in Nigeria. And um, we must find a solution to this. I've signed for it. And uh, the most important thing is we must deliver on, um, on, 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 on our promises as a government. The students are not left out in the program as they promise to do the right thing by disposing of their waste properly. I would likely to tell them that they should put it in practice to make a proper disposal of the waste in the proper place, in the right place, as we have the dustbin for plastic, nylon, and so on disposal share. They should practice it in order to keep our environment clean. What she needs to do? So, um, to me, to keep our environment clean is by dropping our waste in the dustbin, like keeping our environment clean, not littering the ground, Anytime we eat, anytime we eat snacks, even though there's no any dustbin around us, we can just keep uh, the dirt in our pockets or anywhere or hand it down. And anyway, anytime we go to see any dustbin around us, we can just drop it inside. We can just continue keeping that on and can make Nigeria a better place. The campaign held simultaneously at three different locations, Ikeja, Koshofeo Gudu, and Lagos Island East local government areas. Paul George, Plus TV News. <laughs> Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.